Council celebrated the Asian American and Pacific Islander Heritage Month virtually with premium institutions. The theme of the program was growing together with mutual awareness. U.S. federal buyers, U.S. small business administration, corporates, diversity support organizations like Women's Business Development Center, Diversity NBA Magazine, community organizations along with researchers and community leaders were the eminent speakers at Digital Tech Leadership Council's Asian American and Pacific Islander Heritage Month program. The event which celebrated the Heritage Month was tied to the growing together with mutual awareness. Puram Gupta Krishnan, Vice President of U.S. Federal Market at Lyca Enterprises, coordinated the event. The University of Illinois, we have not only gotten the certification, we have um, uh, gone through the bid process to be on the sheltered market. So now we do the business directly and also team up with the large companies to do business with the university and all different campuses. The same goes for CDWG. We have, uh, they had released uh, a RFP a few years back and we went ahead and bid it and competed. And now, it is so easy to work with CDW, um, different account managers in different areas. So it's it's very, she's very correct. Um, Christine is very correct to, to know what you can do or what you cannot do. So go through the right, uh, you know, steps in in the business. Really, they are really working hard to work with with the vendors, the diverse vendors. A rich discussion on how and what South Asians are contributing to the United States of America and what great services are available to support them were the main topics of discussion during this program. My role as a media is to bring the awareness because what is going on with the subject, like we just want to go work the mainstream as well as with the South Asian community and Indian community, Hindu community at large. Like what are we doing? We are giving it back. Like, you know, things have opened up now, relief uh, uh, operations are going on in full swing. Somebody mentioned earlier also. So we have to let them know. Because when U.S. needed the help, India was the first country to give. And without asking, they gave hydrochlorine and all. Now India needed vaccine. We should not have been asking, but we had to ask for it. That should not have been, but whatever. And I always say there should not be any politics on all these kind of issues. When we look for humanity, that should play their key role. What we do is really as an economic development organization, we try to make sure that small business owners that we work with are always aware of the resources that are being made available to them, whether it's through corporations, through the supply diversity channel, or it is through the federal government relief packages, state and local government programming, or federal parking and state and local contracting. So we make sure there is a pipeline of businesses ready to access these programs. So we like to think of ourselves as a multi-resource center. So we are the only organization who are doing a South Asian research with the University of Northwestern University for the last 15 years. We have studied on the heart condition of uh, South Asians and we have studied the diabetic condition of the Asians because we are very diabetic in a way. We are a completely diabetic population in the So how you change the diet, how you change your living style, then you can help yourself to really uh, come your, your reduce the number in the sugar level. So that is a thing which I think it is available in your medical journals. I should give you a uh, later on all the Website which we have given the whole research has been come out and the and the findings have been come out how you can change the life. This really can change it, the difference in the lives. So that is a program for metropolitan. And then another program which we do from the universal metro issue services is a home care program and an early care program. Meanwhile, Congressman Raja Krishnamurti announced the Dover Act to protect US citizens from the risk of new coronavirus strains by defeating the virus abroad. He said that the legislation would dramatically expand American aid to India, Argentina and other nations to end COVID surges through vaccination, reducing risk of dangerous new variants.